Step one, hit that big button in the middle. That will take you to the DID website, and here we are. We are going to click on Create Avatar. It's going to give us two choices. We can do it from an image or a video. We're just going to do it from an image. Click on that, and now it takes us to the login information. We can log in with Google, LinkedIn. We can log in with Apple. I'm going to use Google. Then it's going to ask you like a million marketing questions. So one of them is, you know, what are you using this for? I'm going to use it for work. And then we're going to go next. And then what's your role? I'm a team member. I'm going to hit that. Then it's going to go ahead and ask me how many people are in the company, who's the target audience, how'd you hear about us, all that stuff. Now we're back. We click Create Avatar again. We have two choices. Again, we're going to click that from an image. I'm navigating to my image, clicking on it. And there I am. There's the image that we're going to use. So now we download that image, and now we have our images there. We're going to click on that image that we just downloaded as our image for the picture. So that's pretty simple to do. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. There it is. Yay. Then we're going to select Use This Avatar. We've only got one. So we're going to go ahead and click on the bottom right-hand corner. Click on that. Then it's going to give me two choices. We're going to choose the video, Avatar Video. And there, there I am. Yay. Now you can do different things with this. One, we can do happy, sad, neutral, happy. And now that we've chosen that, we can choose our voices. And we're going to go ahead and look through all our different choices. We can even search. So let's search for English. That's what I speak. So we'll try to find English. We'll look for that and get some options. There we go. And search. And then we can do different kind of voices. They allow you to clone your voice. We're not going to do that in this particular video, but you can search down through the voice that you want and find the voice. And there we go. And now we have the voice attached to my avatar. Now we can put in a script. So what do we want the avatar to say? I'm just going to keep this brief and we're going to do that. Notice we could also put in audio, but now we can generate the video. So let's go ahead and generate that. It uses credits. That's how you pay for uh, the platform. Okay, now we've got the video. Let's hear what I sound like. Hi, it's a digital avatar. What do you think? Hi, it's a digital avatar. What do you think? Okay, let's hear me. My Hi, voice. it's a digital avatar. So what do you think? Hi, it's a digital avatar. So what do you think? Now let's do Hi, a comparison. Hi, it's a digital avatar. So what do you think? Hi, it's a digital avatar. So what do you think? Now it's your turn. Why don't you give it a try and create your own digital avatar from a photo or image? It's easy, fun, and using a digital avatar can add a new dimension to the creation of your training videos. Also, I invite you to check out my other videos on AI in the field of learning and development. I have a series for instructional designers on AI and continually post information about the fast-moving impact of AI on L&D. Goodbye for now, and remember, play, learn, and have fun. See you in the next video.